Ah, for a brief few moments, I had more followers than the President of the United States. For about 30 seconds. Uh, although he has been using a Twitter account under his name up until now, now uh, he has created a uh, Twitter account that will belong to the President of the United States, POTUS, which is a well-known term for President of the United States. I don't know if they... I, I, I'm wondering if they had to go buy that or anything. It, I, I don't know if the, the account was taken. I'm sure it was. It because must if have it been. wasn't, well, uh, you know, we're, we're all really dumb. But uh, <laughs> Flotis was out there as well, the first lady of the United yeah. States. So Michelle Obama tweets under that one. And now President Obama has that. And there's a lot of uh, uh, welcome from, uh, you know, politicians, including Bill Clinton, saying, <laughs> Welcome to Twitter, uh, POTUS. One question Does that username stay with the office? Hashtag asking <laughs> for a friend. A lot of people think that's quite funny. Uh, so there were a few exchanges. President Obama, of course, repeat, re replying, good question. The handle comes with the house. No anyone interested in wow. Flotus. <laughs> no? <Okay. laughs> uh, so, yeah, and then, and then, of course, Michelle Obama tweeting, it's about time. So, yeah. um, lots of excitement. I'm going to tweet him right now. Hold on. I'm just going to say, uh, good morning, POTUS, at POTUS. I hope I, I can call him at photos. Yes, you can. Uh, consider this an open invitation to stop by and see us on BT Toronto sometime. It'd be great to have him. Oh, hold on. I'm going to just say for a coffee, because that way he doesn't feel pressured. Hold on. It's just like, because it's just coffee, right? Well, in fact, we, we had the Prime Minister in not too, uh, a couple of years ago, right? Yeah, just for coffee. Yeah. Okay, so if you guys, I'm going to do a hashtag at BT Invite. Sure. So BT Invite, uh, just retweet my last tweet, or, or send, send something to POTUS and say, hey, stop by for a coffee here on Breakfast Television. <laughs> he could just go out just for a coffee and then go right back to Washington. It's like a 45-minute flight. It is. It minutes. is. It's yeah, so, so, such a short, and that, that's okay. a place I really want to go to. Air Force One probably something. like 15 minutes tops. Probably. Yeah. Speaking of social media, there's a really interesting story that uh, I, I thought we, we could chat about as well. Um, this is a, a story of a woman uh, who was fired after she disabled her tracking app that tracks her location. This is an app that she had on her work device um, that, uh, what is the app called? I have it over here as well. Uh, it's called Zora. That's it. Uh, and and okay. a lot of companies make you install these on your work phones and it tracks where you are, what apps you have on your phone, who you text, who you call, what, what websites you're What does she do for a living on. though? That, that, uh, this is important. Okay, let's see. Uh, she, uh, it was in the delivery business and uh, okay, so. Okay, enough. Sorry, no case. Think? Case no closed. Case? No, if, if you have a job that your employer needs to know where you are, such as a delivery, and, and they have tracked delivery people for years. Yeah. This is not new. Uh, but if it requires your employer to know where you are to make sure all their, their movements are going efficiently, then, then I'm sorry. Then that's just, that's that's the new reality. Yeah. However, if you don't have a job that has anything whatsoever to do with your employer knowing where you are all the time, then yeah, she would have a case. But delivery, she's, she's sorry. She's going after them for about $500,000. And, and you know, she, she likened the app to a prisoner's ankle bracelet. Okay. Uh, but, but you know what, a lot of, we have these installed on our phones, on our work devices. It is, it's corporate device management. Should you be let go one okay. day or should you be terminated one day? It, it disables all this stuff. Yeah, I'm gonna have to interrupt you here for some yeah. breaking news because okay. this is just breaking right now. Uh, we've just got word in this shooting out of the airport has now turned officially into a homicide. A man rushed into St. Mike's Trauma Center just after 1 o'clock this morning after a shooting at Danforth and Coxwell. Uh, he was taken in a very serious and life-threatening condition. He has now been pronounced dead at hospital. Police are still investigating at the scene and checking out the scene, still looking for any witnesses as well. So uh, Danforth is closed still in the uh, Coxwell area this morning and will be now for the rest of the rush hour as police continue with this investigation. Mel will be there live for us coming up a little while here on Breakfast Television. We'll get the very latest from her as well. So I apologize for uh, interrupting uh, at that point. Just want to make sure we get that news across for you this morning. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, our best goes out to James Hinchcliffe yeah, uh, right today. BT. Uh, he was supposed to be on BT today. Uh, injured, of course, over the weekend. Uh, leg surgery, I think, is going on today. Yeah. This is the... This is... Oh, wow. Now he will, he has promised to come on and talk to us at some point soon. Um, this is the latest in a rash of accidents on the Indy circuit. This is the fourth one, right Andy? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Now there has been a redesign of the cars. Yeah. And the Indy folks are saying it has nothing whatsoever to do with these. Some people are now questioning 
this. So we're going to be talking about this a little later on as well here on Breakfast Television. But of course, all of our thoughts go out to the mayor of Hinchtown for sure. Uh, you're watching Breakfast Television. We'll be back right after this. Stay with us. That was yeah.